All right, so we're going to start making colloidal silver this morning. Have everything set up. That's my silver rod. Nine volt battery. Alligator clips. Glass jar. Distilled or purified water. Make sure it doesn't have any minerals in it or any additives. So basically, all you got to do is put your water in. If the glass jar looks dirty to you, it's not. That's actually silver particles. And it's okay if they're in there. You don't have to wash your jug every time. It's an antibacterial. So then I take the silver rod. It looks like that's the end that I crimped last time. So I'm going to crimp this in this time. And this one. You want 99.9% .9 pure silver. And be careful where you buy it. I get mine from the USA. I'll post a link in comments when I upload this video of where to purchase silver rods. And so basically, I'm going to stick my silver rod through here, which is harder than it looks. And there's all kinds of ways you can brace it. You don't have to use this method. This is just what I found cheap and easy. This rod doesn't look very used when you use it. The rods will start getting pitted the more you use them. These are in pretty good shape. There's an example of a pitted one. I don't know how well that comes across in video. Let's try it on this one. The video. So you put the two rods. You want them about an inch apart. When you put them in the water and you put the alligator clips on, they move around some, so you kind of just have to figure it out. Alright, so then what you're going to do is attach the batteries. And I'm not sure how good my batteries are, that's why I canceled the event, but I decided to go ahead and try it and upload it and say I'm not sure these batteries so you need five we're going to attach the positive first make sure you get it to the positive battery Sure your batteries are fully connected and then basically if it stays clipped you put it up there and then I'm going to attach the negative there and then I'm going to try to adjust my rods they're pretty close together now, if the batteries aren't dead, we're going to start seeing bubbles forming very shortly. I've got some Duracell batteries over there. I might hook them up. You should see bubbles pretty quickly. So those batteries look dead. They're not doing anything. So now when you go to disconnect, you want to disconnect your negative first and your positive. Let's try these out. I may just have to go buy some batteries, but you'll get the idea on how to do it from this.
I don't see any uh, action taking place, so it's not cooking. Let's try connecting some different batteries and see. And if none of these work, I'm going to toss them off. There's nothing happening there. Give it a few minutes. That one might work. I'm tossing all of these. Yeah, anyway, the batteries are dead, and I don't have any replacements. But that's the setup, and I'll do a short video when it when I get some batteries to fire that up. All right, thank you.